This accidental encounter saved this video. My name is Drew and I'm a wildlife photographer from the UK. It's long been a dream of mine to photograph wild black bears against a mountain backdrop. So together with my partner Megan, we're traveling the 4,000 miles across the Atlantic to the United States. At this point of the video, I'm going to be honest and tell you that unfortunately we did not get the encounter that I was hoping for, but what we did get opened our eyes to so much more. After collecting the car from the airport, we then had the four hour drive to the Great Smoky Mountains National Park, where I'll be spending four days trying to get the perfect shot of a wild black bear. Two days passed and not one bear sighting. I began to lose hope. But there's definitely some magic in the Smoky Mountains. On our third day, we were up before sunrise to try earlier for the bears this time. As we drove up through the national park, I stopped for just a split second, pulled over the car for a chance to get a panoramic shot from the top of a hill. And that's when it happened. As I turned round to get back in the car, by complete chance, I noticed a pileated woodpecker. My first time seeing one, and it didn't disappoint. After a few short moments, it disappeared back into the forest. But my view on this place had completely transformed. In my quest for a bear, I'd completely forgotten to just enjoy where I was. To be in the moment. To look up. It was like all of a sudden, the world around me came to life. Having spent hours in the car driving around looking for bears, we decided to park up and hike to a waterfall. As we walked down the river, I began to come across little pockets of activity. As we made our way to the falls, I began to think about how I would like to photograph them. I don't often capture landscapes, but this opportunity I couldn't miss. I decided that what I wanted to do was drag the shutter. This will turn all of the water into one constant movement. By adding on an ND filter, I'm able to keep the shutter open for longer. I placed a camera down on a rock, because as you may have noticed, I suffer from an essential tremor in both of my hands. This is a neurological movement disorder that causes your hands to shake continuously. I've had it my whole life. 
When I first started photography, it was something I was quite embarrassed about. When I'm concentrating, the condition is much more noticeable and does affect me. So at first I did everything I could to hide it. But over time, and as I've got older, I've come to terms with it. And now, it doesn't hold me back anymore. As we made our way back to the trail, we were met by these white-tailed deer. They were so calm, we were able to get within inches of them as we drove past. This is possibly one of my favourite moments from the entire trip. A suitable end to a spectacular day. Overnight, the place is transformed. The rain started late evening the day before and hasn't stopped since. Just like the people, the animals have found shelter and are waiting out the storm. Just a few individuals remain. For me, today is going to be about the landscape. The dramatic storm clouds moved in and weaved their way through the mountain tops. It seems like a fitting tribute to a powerful landscape. As a wildlife photographer, you never know if things are going to go your way. On this occasion, I was unlucky and wasn't able to get my target species. But looking back through the footage, I'm reminded of just how special that place is and how lucky I've been to visit. 
I'll be back for sure. And next time, I'll find that bear. <laughs>